You say, Devin, that was a fantastic presentation. Thanks for putting that together. I think this is a very important issue that you guys are, are tackling as well. And I'm wondering if you've set aside enough capital for this project. You know, specifically, you're going to get some 3D printing experience and training. But do you have enough resources for actually accessing the 3D printer? Do we need to set aside a little bit more in the budget for, for all the projects that you're going to print out? And then also on the marketing side, do you feel like you have enough budgeted? We're not really going to get into like the um, like the building part until like a lot later on. So this is just purely instruction and purely just getting into the community and making our um, our names known. So then we can build up enough capital to get the 3D printer independently and then start building our project from there. You could allocate a little bit to actually start accessing the 3D printer and take some leasing time from a company that provides that. We actually have thought about that. Um, there's actually a local company in Baltimore City. It's called uh, Dene Incorporated. And I believe they'll both teach us about how to operate the 3D printers. And they also have a wide range of them. So we might get them, we might get our 3D printer from them too. So what experience do you have with um, 3D printing? I have very little experience with 3D printing, hence why I'm going to the training. Are there other um, organizations or companies that you feel like are going to be really important to making this project successful? Yes. So in order for us to um, bridge the gap between trash to a 3D printed project, what we will have to do is take all of the waste and get it converted, which is where TerraCycle comes in. TerraCycle is a um, New Jersey-based um, facility in which they um, cleanse and process um, waste such as the waste we're going to be collecting in order for it to be sent back out and it be clean enough for us to uh, start converting it. And there's also going to be some type of partnership that is um, in the distant future in which we start learning about some biochemistry in order for us to see about like what kind of chemical reactions would happen if we were to 3D print um, two similar like substances and see the differences and then see which one will hold up better and then create like more of a sustainable project.